Hello, it was a great week at the Goodwill Outlet Bins this week. In today's video, come digging with me for treasure. And at the end of the video, I'll show you part one of my thrift haul. I got so many things, I had to break it into two parts. Part two will come tomorrow. Here we go. I thought these pieces were kind of neat. There was one for each suit and it was marked international silver, but they showed like a weird, almost like mold dots on them. It was strange. You know, I love me some Gibson plates, but this one was cracked. I found this piece. It's really pretty. It's like rimmed in gold. I didn't know what it was for. Toothpicks? Eyeglasses? I'm not really sure. I've had some good luck selling vintage souvenir pieces, so I often pick them up when I find them. This little vase is in the condition I expect things in the bins to be in, and so, many, so often things are not in that broken condition, which is always amazing to me. I thought this tray was really pretty. It wasn't vintage, but it would be nice for Christmas serving.
The bins in my area have definitely been really random lately. In this bin of toys, I found a vintage doorknob. Just doesn't make any sense at all. So you gotta make sure you really dig, even if it looks like it's all toys. Whenever I find bags of kitchen utensils, I look for ones with wooden handles or I look for ones, uh, ice grabbers that look like talons because those sell very well for me. That's what I was looking for here, but I did not find any on this day. I found this little treasure trove of some vintage. There was this little plaque, and then there you can see a Limoges teacup. I turned the camera off because I needed to dig, but I also found the saucer and then an old flower frog. This bin was really tightly packed with stuff, so it was kind of hard to look through, but I was able to do my best. I loved this little caddy of sorts. I thought about putting it on my desk. Check out this totally retro enamelware pot. I thought that was very cool and definitely it reminded me of things that were in my house when I was a kid. <laughs> Then I came across this bin and it had all these tubs in it from someone's collections. So the first thing I pulled out was this Wedgwood piece and then it just kept getting better.
took me a long time to go through this bin because everything was so neatly wrapped and everyone ahead of me had gone through it and neatly wrapped it so I didn't want to be the one to like blow up the bin so I was trying to be really careful but there was a line gathering behind me so I did eventually just put the camera down because I felt kind of rude recording when I saw that there was a line gathering so I did not get all the footage of me going through this, this, these tubs, but there were several of them and you'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see the haul, to see all that I brought home from this person's collection. I thought the idea of this plate was great with the eagle, but it was actually off center. So I don't know if this was like a hobbyist piece, but it was not very well done. If it had been better, I would have picked it up and given it to Robin or Jamie because they both like the eagle motif. And once I got through all those bins, I kind of just went quickly through the rest of them because I was exhausted. <laughs> like that took a long time. Um, again, I didn't show you all the footage because I did put the camera down, but I did find this cutie little thing in another bin. I think she's so funny looking. Okay, I hope that was fun. For anyone not familiar, at the Goodwill Outlet Bins, you pay by the pound. I paid $53 for everything I'm about to show you, which sounds like a lot for me, but once you see what I got, oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna try to do this in one video. If it gets too long, I might have to split it. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get started. All right, so before I got to the mother load, because I did get to the mother load, you might have seen it in the video. Also, oh, I should say, I am down in the comic book slash craft slash ceramics room. <laughs> we live in a split level. This is our downstairs. This is not my area. I know some of you will say, the stuff behind you is distracting. And you know what? There's nothing I can do. Um, this is just where I am right now. I have nowhere else to go. Um, the garage is being used right now, and it's cold. <sighs> 
it's cold out there. We actually just got a new heater. Hopefully that will help. But um, so that's where I am. Sorry if it's distracting. My husband has a YouTube channel and this is where he films his videos. And I think he was in the midst of doing something. So that's what's going on there. His channel is North Garden Comics. He's a big comic collector, if you're not familiar. So, okay, so let's get started. First of all, I picked up some uh, patterns. These aren't as vintagey as I usually get, but I do like to wrap. Um, if you've purchased anything from my Etsy store, this is usually like the top layer. Um, I wrap in vintage pattern pieces, um, unless it's like too big and then I use like tissue paper, regular tissue paper. So I picked up these for that purpose. And then I picked up this. It's so cute. This is just going into my like embroidery supplies. This is a transfer for embroidery and it looks like this. It's totally 70s and I think it's adorable. Kind of looks like Swedish designs to me. Um, you know, like the, the different painted pieces that you sometimes see that I'll show you that we have here in Minnesota. Um, that's sort of what that, so you, you know, I don't need to use this on fabric necessarily. I could just trace it onto like a wood thing if I wanted to. So that's just going into my supplies. Okay, then I got this. I really don't know what it is. Um, it is, it's missing its clasp. I'm guessing it has another like loop here that maybe hooks onto here. So maybe I can, you know, uh, do something to do that. But I just thought it was a cool looking box or container for my displays. You know, it would be cool as a riser, put something on top of it, put something in front of it. I like the color of it. So I just thought it was cool and old looking. I actually don't think it's that old. Um, there's the brand velvet inside it came with something that needed a microfiber cloth oh here's a brand let's see what it says tasco imperial i have no idea what tasco imperial sells or makes but that's what it is so that then i got this to do a thrift flip on i thought this would be cute for like keys or decor i'm not really sure but i thought it was cute goodwill originally had it for 4.99 what? I would not pay $4.99 for this. I don't even know what it is. Probably keys. What do you guys think? Necklaces? Maybe necklaces. I don't wear necklaces, so I will figure something out for it. I just thought it was cute. Okay, and then this is very sweet, but I am going to paint over it. Nobody panic. <laughs> It says, we didn't give you the gift of life. Life, life gave us the gift of you. It's a sweet phrase, but I don't really do yellow. And so I'm just going to put this in my stash of things to make signs out of. So that's what that will be for. So this is a, it says Limoges, France, Corona. I might say Corona. Limoges, France. And it's just a teacup and saucer. It's very pretty. It's hand painted, I think. Looks it to me. So I thought that was pretty. I'll probably sell this. Look at the inside of the cup. Isn't that lovely? I think it's really lovely. So, okay. Now we'll move on to the bin. Let me get the bin. Hold on. Okay. This is the bin. So there are several of these in that bin and there are several tubs of stuff and this one didn't have a ton of stuff in it. So I wound up taking the stuff out of here that I wasn't going to keep, putting it in another one. And then I just took the whole thing home because you're paying for it by the pound. So you can do that sort of thing. Um, whew, I'm out of breath because it's quite heavy. Um, not everything in here was that like that same person's stuff because I did put some things in here that I had found in the bins prior to coming across that bin with all the tubs in it. But um, a lot of it is. So we're just gonna go through it. It's a treasure trove. I am going to be selling most of this. I am not going to be doing it by email. There's just too many things and I know I will get um, a storm of emails and I just, I don't have the time right now to answer and weigh all the things to all the different zip codes and inquiries. I love the inquiries, but I just don't have time with this many objects. So I will be listing these gradually in my Etsy shop um, and you can follow my Etsy shop. I think if you like favorite my shop, it'll tell you when I list new things. 
Uh, most of this probably won't get listed till next weekend because it's my anniversary and we're doing dinner. So <laughs> I just wanted to get this filmed so you guys could see it and then I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. Um, oh, before I get to that though, I did find these and I was super excited about these because if you saw my last, uh, one of my recent Goodwill videos, I saw a piece of artwork that had like these ferns in it. And I've been wanting to do something with botanicals in my master bathroom. So I'm gonna make something with these. I did get several just because they're so lightweight. And I was like, well, in case I mess something up or I wanna make extras. And then there was this one too. So that will be for DIYs. I probably won't use all of them, but I figured, ah, they're, they barely cost anything. Okay, so moving on to what I found in that bin with all the stuff. I did pull these cobalt blue. I don't know if these are drink. They kind of feel like drinking glasses. I don't know. I don't know if that's what they are. Um, you can let me know. They kind of have like a, an interesting look to them. I really, I know nothing about them other than I thought they were pretty and I was hoping they would glow. They don't. But, um, I'm looking for cobalt blue glass that glows and I haven't been able to find any yet. This one I'm keeping because Gabe likes it. He thinks it's a cool glass. Um, and you can see it's like clear on the bottom and blue here. Uh, I don't really, again, I don't know anything about it other than it seems to have a pontil mark, which now I know that that's what that's called. Thank you to all of you who told me. So yeah, so that was cool just as a drinking glass. And then these two drinking glasses I am going to sell eventually. I thought they were really pretty. So they're just these like painted glasses. I honestly don't know anything about them other than the fact that they looked pretty and vintage. So that's why I picked those up. Okay, then these I'm going to keep. I love these. These are just going right into my collection. These are actually Wedgwood, which is weird. I didn't know Wedgwood made cabbage plates. And they do have chips on them, but I didn't care because I, I knew I was keeping them. So um, there's a chip here. Most of this cabbage stuff that I find does have chips. I don't know if it's like the kind of clay that it's you that is used in them, but... Um, yeah, so, and this one is darker than this one. If you can see the glaze is different, but they are both, they both have the same mark, although, well, the same mark-ish, sort of, but they're definitely from different lots. You can see, like, the lots that, well, this one's G, I think, and this one's E. So, anyway, those will go into my cabbage plate collection. All right, and I only get the cabbage plates when I can find them really cheap. So the bins is a great place. Okay, moving on. I did pick some of the hand-painted plates. Um, this says Nippon. I can't read the word above it. Oh, it just says hand-painted Nippon is the mark. I thought this was gorgeous. It has violets on it. That was really well done. I'm not sure it's focusing very well, but you can kind of get the idea. And then I picked this one up. This one says, hand-painted Germany. Gorgeous. These I will be listing eventually in my shop. And, okay. Oh, gosh. This one I'm not listing. I love this. It's gorgeous. And I'm probably going to incorporate it into my fall decor. I don't know anything about it. It's one that's not marked, so who knows? It might not be worth anything, but, you know, I don't really care about that. I just like it. I think it's gorgeous with the sunset, and it just makes me think of fall. There's definitely turning leaves here, looks like, here and here. So I thought this would be really pretty in a plate stand in one of my fall displays. Okay. Okay. Oh, my gosh, guys. There's so much stuff. I did pick this up. Uh, Carver something plaques. Oh, carved art plaques. I can't read the rest of it. That's the mark. And it's, I think it's, it's Jesus. I think it's Jesus. I assume it's Jesus praying. That's what it looks like to me. So I thought that was cool. And I got this. This was not from those bins. I just thought this was really cute. Um, this I'll probably list in my shop or um, you know, probably hold off maybe until next summer. I don't know. Or I'll list it and I'll make like a 4th of July section. I've done that. I have a vintage Halloween, vintage Christmas, you know. Um, this is probably from the 90s when that like uh, primitive stuff was really popular. That would be my guess. I thought this was really cute. Um, it says, oh, did I say this? It says kindred spirits. That's all. 
I don't know a ton about it. Okay, and this I got, I know it's strawberries, but I have come away from these wooden painted things. Um, I have to like, oh, I might keep, I'm lying. I might put this in with my jadeite in the summer because I did put some strawberry stuff in with my jadeite or I brought my jadeite upstairs and because I think the jadeite green and strawberries looks really pretty. So I might keep this. I might hold off and decide next summer. Not really sure, but I do like that this is that jadeite green with the strawberries. So that is in question. Oh my gosh. It's like, I feel like it's Christmas because I forget all the things. I picked up so much that I forget what I picked up. I mean, it was only this week, but... Oh, yes. Okay. I got what I think is my first, I think it's my first salt cellar. Is that what this is? Isn't that cute? It is chipped. It's really chipped, but I didn't care. I was like, oh my goodness, it's my first one. So there's the chip, but I think that's really cute. Can you imagine just a little collection of these on a shelf? I think that's what that is. I don't know. The, the bottom looks like that. All right, so I think that's what that was. And then I definitely oh, found my first match thing. What do you call this? A match safe? I don't know. You hang it on the wall. I really want a metal one. I've been keeping my eye out for a metal one. I'm not even sure I will keep, you know, I know some of you might be horrified that I might paint over this. I don't do apples, but I love the fact that it's a match safe. So I may change this. Don't panic if I do. I say don't panic because sometimes people go a little wild in the comments when I paint over something that's vintage. They're like, ah! I'm like, I'm sorry. I know, but it really doesn't affect your life. It actually doesn't affect your life at all. <laughs> but anyway, I was super excited to find this. I want to find more. I always look for these when we go out. They're usually like $11 and I don't want to pay that much. So this one is very lightweight. So I was super happy about that. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right. Then I got this. This I am going to keep. This is Roseville Pottery, which is a place in Ohio. I love Roseville Pottery. There's all different makers there, but I think this is beautiful. I did look for the creamer. This was from like the big tub of tubs, the bin, the bin of tubs, we'll call it. Uh, the mother load, whatever you want to say. This was from there, um, but I did not see the creamer. Maybe someone grabbed it before I got there, but Here's the mark and I just think it's gorgeous. I love the colors. Very beautiful with my things in my house. Oh, this is cool. This is not from the mother load, but totally goes in my decor. I always pick these up at the bins when I say, I have one other. What am I saying? I always pick these up. I have picked them up before. I have one other. Oh, and I think I have half of one somewhere. Um, I just really love them in decor. One of my favorite displays that I have right now has one my one in it. So love that. That will be a keeper. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Okay. This is Noritake made in Japan, hand painted. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. I don't think I'll keep this because it's purple and I don't really do purple, but I do think it's beautiful. So I think I'll list that. <laughs> this is funny. I just picked this up because it's funny. I'm keeping this. This says Mrs. Gomp. Gamp? Gomp. I don't know. It's Urfilla made in Germany is the mark. Oh my gosh. This goes with those ugly mugs that I have that I put out at um, St. Patrick's Day. So I'm going to stick her in with that. I, I think orange and green will look cute together. And I just think she's really funny. Oh my gosh. She's funny. I like weird stuff, you know. It is what it is. Oh, this is so pretty. This is, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this, but I couldn't leave it there. I didn't want it to break. Look at this thing. It's gorgeous. And it has that white painting on it. Like, it's like another piece that I picked up that was like pink with the white on it. And it's got this like beautiful, I don't know. So I'll put this in with my green glass because I don't know that I could ever ship this. I'm not, it doesn't feel very, it's not very, it's very delicate feeling. So I'm just not sure. Um, but I think it's so beautiful. And it does appear to be hand blown because it definitely has a rough pontil mark. It's kind of rough. So maybe that means it's not high quality, but it is hand done. Is that what that means? I don't really know. But I think it's beautiful. And I, I just didn't want it to break. Honestly, that was purely for the rescue sake. I just didn't want it to break. Because, I mean, it's so well done. Like, 
I'm going to show you one thing. Look at the leaves. Like they took their paintbrush and with using the paper, like they made the leaf texture. I mean, that is some skill, you know? I just think that's really, really well done. It's not like they outlined it and then just filled it in. They used the brush marks to like make the texture of a leaf. So, I don't know. I thought that was lovely. So I didn't want it to break. Okay, this I picked up. This was not from the mother load. This was from another bin. Is this for eyeglasses? I don't know, but I was thinking, oh, can you put your eyeglasses like this across it? That's what I thought it might be for. And if so, I'm going to keep it out at my shipping table because I have another one of those. If not, you can tell me what it is because otherwise I really don't know because it has just this weird, you know, shape to it. So you can let me know about that one. Okay, and I'm doing my editing. I'm at 32 minutes. So I'm going to pause the haul here and I will post the part two tomorrow. So it's Sunday. You'll see the Sunday night. I'll post part two on Monday night because I don't want an hour long video. So I hope this has been enjoyable. Let me know what you think that thing was that I just showed you. And we will check out the rest of what I got tomorrow. Until then, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.